what's up guys welcome back to the channel we got my baby right here we're in the garage as you can see so in today's video i'm gonna be installing the, the turn signals because you know as you can see we got the base model we don't have any turn signals i got the turn signal kit from sui speed so let's hop into that you know i'm not gonna make this intro too long so let's hop right into that and i'll show you guys what you gotta do you know my first time doing it. So we have to, you know, you have to turn the mirror in, you know, close it. So you can grab it from the behind and all that. Pause, nigga! Pause, man! Do you hear what he just said? Pause. <laughs> and you gotta take this trim off first. You got a little flat head. And you play around with it. And then you take it off, then you grab this one. From right there, full. You know, I'll do it right now, just give me a second. So right in here we have the turn signals, sequential, smoke. And here we got the, the mirror caps, paint match it and all that. Fucking open it. Right here. So, yep. I'll link the, the link that down below. And here we got the screws that we need. The little Harness, this is just plug and play, so let's get into that. Let's take this off. Let's look for a small flathead. This one's not small, but here's the flathead. So let me see if I can do it with this one. I just have to start from back here. That one off. Let's see the top. Gotta hold it from here. Even pressure. It pops right off. Sound like it broke, but nope, it didn't. Dirty. Let's see if I can get a towel so I can clean this down a little bit. Now we gotta take the door panel off. There's a screw right in there. Metal over here, so we gotta pop this little cover off. If I can do it. All right, so I'm gonna just move this and get back to you guys. So now we have to disconnect this little thing right here. Let me see which way. I don't know. There you go. My door. We gotta peel this back. I don't wanna break it. That's sticky. Oh man. I don't know. I don't know. So now there's three bolts. There are 10 millimeters. Two right here. And there should be another one on this side right there. So let me take those out. Then we can take the mirror and run the wire out and do what we gotta do. We don't wanna drop the bolts either, so try not to do that. This one off. Right here. Nigga! Oh man. What did I say? <laughs> I'll just move the plastic down there and try to see. It. There's a hole here. Try to see if my hand fits in there to get it out. Guys, I did forget to say that we need to remove the mirror from here. So you gotta go through the back and, you know, play around with the, the holes in there to see if you can remove the little tabs from in there, you know, that's holding the mirror. You know, can't record that because I can't even see them. I don't know where they are. And I need the phone, so 
yeah, I'll let you guys know where every clip is at. So I had to run home and get this little flathead. It's the one that I have. It's not giving me space enough to to remove the clips from the mirror. And this package came in today. What is in there? I don't know, because we're going to find out. But yeah, I'll see you guys in a bit when I get back to the, to the garage. I did find the clips. It's that one that's right there. We got to move it down. I'm trying to move it down with a knife, so I didn't want to go home, but couldn't take it out. And there's another one right here. And this little hole right there, that one. So while I'm doing that, put some little bit of goo on right here to see if I can take that little bit of plastic dip off. So, you know, still have more to take off. You see right there. But when I change these trims, you know, it'll be easier to get off. So I'll just wait till I get this off. And then I'll clean it on, clean it up. There is still a little bit in there, but you know, can't see that. All right, guys, so you have these. There's one for the driver's side and one for the passenger. So you look at it with this little part, the locking clip towards you. If the black cable is on the on the driver uh, on the on the left side, that means that this is the driver's side. And as you can see, the passenger side, see what the clip looks towards us. The black is on the left side, so that's the passenger side. So make sure you get that right. Now what we need to do is run the cable through right there. Pull it out back here. You know, this is going to be in the way, but you just got to pull it down and get it out the way. Got the black one in there. There should be an easier way to do it, but I don't know. I'm <laughs> just doing it this way. All right, so I already got that in there. You see, you gotta leave a little bit of slack right here. If you want, you can put these two ends, two ends through right here, through this hole. Run in. How we want to do it if it's easier through this way. Then you come here, put it one by one in that little hole to get it down here. If not, you can just do it how I did it. I'm gonna clean up that little bit of Google on that I put there, and then I'll put the mirror back in, I'll put the cap, and then we'll get ready with the, for the other stuff. The little bit of Google on is now gone. It's gonna look a lot more cleaner now when I put the mirror back, cause could see it through the edges and stuff but right now yep looking clean I can't wait to replace these so I can clean all that up so so now we just gotta run all this back through here when we get it in there put the screws back then we can mess around with the the wiring and all that but for now let's just get it back in there so here we just have to remove these little retainer clips from this clip you see gotta put a little flathead through there remove that so we can put these two wires the black and red where's the black right here the black and red put them in there on this side, the black goes with the black, you know. And the red will go with the white and red. On the passenger side is the opposite side, you know, like flip around. So you just gotta make sure you put it in, in the right one. You know, it's not like on this side. On the other side, it's flipped around. So if you did white and red on one side and the black on the other side, you're gonna do it like backwards on the other side on the passenger side I'm try with my nails because I don't know that I can't I got 
that one up. We got this side up. Oh, this one went back in. Just move them. Goes. Oh, this way. So, black and red, black, white and black is on this side right here. I've never done this because I don't know how to deal with electricity. See, I was even putting the wrong one. Red goes with red and white. It's not that one in. Black is on the black on the back side. So, we go to the rear hole. And we put the black one in. Snap it in. Now we put this back in place. Where it goes. Let me see. There we go. Alright, so I have everything back together now. Let's try to let's test fit this before to see if it works before we do anything else. I should have done that before I put everything back together, but it is what it is. Yep. Here we have it. It does work. So you guys probably asking right now, what is this white cable for? This is for the DRL, you know, daytime running lights. They turn on white if I connect it, but since I don't want it connected, I'm gonna just try to see if I can hide it in there somewhere. Probably in the future I'll do it, I don't know. But for now, I do not want it. So now, let me just push this back there. Turn this a little bit. Try to see it's holding it. I can put the screw in. Let me see. Yep, got it. The kit doesn't include the uh, the screws. They give you for them. These are the numbers right there. You don't need the numbers, but you know, because they already come included. But yeah, now the other one goes right down here, right there, but I guess I can take this off now. I'll make sure they tight. I'm not gonna tight it to break it, but you know, just a little bit. So this, why well, I'm gonna try to see if I can hide it in here. I, you know, I didn't have. To, I didn't know it was there. I didn't even know until now that I opened it. Mm -hmm. So it's too late to put it through the through the hole with the other one. So I'm gonna just. Untie it from here, try to hide it in here, and see if that works. See, I already opened it a little bit. Give me more space to see if it fits. If it does, it does. If it not, it doesn't. Yeah, I think we should be good right there. Yes, yeah, this one. How it goes on, I don't know, but <laughs> just try to get it on there. Let me try. 
see. Yep, it's on. Now we just gotta put this one back on. Put this side first. Work my way around. It should be easier on the passenger side after we get this side on. Cause we already know how everything goes. Right now I'm trying not to break it, so you know. I'm gonna struggle a little bit, but let's see. All right, I'll get that on. I'll see you guys later. Got that side on now. Let me see if it's still working. <laughs> Never know. Is it working? I was inside, so I didn't see it. Comment down below if it was working. I don't know, but what do you guys think? I do like it. It looks way better now. Alright, I got the passenger side out. I'm gonna clean this one just like I cleaned the other side. Literally took me, took me like five, ten minutes to get this one out. It's easier, you know. I took longer with the driver's side because it was a little bit. You know, it was my first time doing it, so it took longer doing it. But on this side, I already know what I got to do, so. Yep, it's going pretty fast right now. Just got to get the, right, the wire in there and stuff and all that. Just like I did. Oh, and another trick for, let me put this down. To take this mirror out, you just, you know, that's the mirror. You just pull it, you know, towards the bottom, you pull it towards you. You lift it up and then you pull it. You just like rip it off and both clips from down here that will come off and then those two, you just gotta slide it off like this. That's the easier way than doing it with the screwdriver and trying to remove them and all that. You just rip them off from the bottom, you know, like up and then you'll get it off. So now we just, Gotta take this off. Let's see if it comes off. Let's see. Some of it is coming off. It takes a little bit of time because you gotta let it sit there for a little bit. So yeah, let me do this and I'll get back to you guys. Now that's all cleaned up. Now let's just run these wires back in there. So now I'm gonna just put the, the screws back in, the bolts, whatever. It's hard to do it one handed because I'm holding the phone on the tripod right now to give a little better view than, than the other side. I saw the, the clip and it was a little bit too far. So I'm gonna show it from here so you guys can see a little bit better. I should have checked the first view, but it's all right. We learned from our mistakes. So yeah. Let me do this and that. All right, so I already got the little clips from this little part, you know, to be able to put the, the the little cables in, the wires. They are right there. My ski mask. See right there. So remember, the, the red goes with the white and red cable. You know, like in the same position. Put a position there. Put a position. I, I don't know. <laughs> 
and the black goes with the black of course so for what I see here we got two blacks and there's a the white and the red one right there let me see if I can get it you see here you gotta you know put it in the same spot so it connects in there so it was a little bit confusing to get it wired up so i'll put you see this is the passenger side let's say let me see if i can get it to focus so we got the black in the front the the red in the front and the black in in the back side passenger side okay it's the same as the driver's side but backwards because you know it's like flipped around on the other side is this way on the driver's side and on this side is you know like flipped around so we got the red in the front black in the back on the last battle one okay Alright guys, that's gonna be it for today's video. Shout out to my girlfriend, she was the one that got me that. If I didn't mention it, those are the, the turn signal kit from Subi Speed. It's like $300 for the whole kit. It comes with the, the four screws that you need. It comes with zip ties, the little, I don't know how to say it, but it's like the little You know, when you're gonna connect the wire to another wire that it comes in. So, one matter of fact, I got the right here. Um, with these little things, those little blue ones that you connect it to another wire, comes with that. Of course, the, the turn signals. And yeah, it's pretty easy install. You know, it comes with the DRL, but I didn't connect them because I don't want that look right now, but probably I'll put it in the future, I don't know. But yeah, that's going to wrap up today's video. Hope you guys like it, comment, subscribe, share it to your friends. And I'm going to catch you guys tomorrow.